Hey guys, it is Holly if you are returning and if you're new, welcome to the channel. I do a lot of run coaching how-to videos, but this week I wanted to do another of my vlogs, just a couple of days in my life as a coach, um, also as a person who bought a house recently and has been setting it up. So there's a lot of updates to show you in the house if you've been following along. I'm also in a funk, weirdly, the last few days. Um, this happens in the spring or just transition of seasons for me sometimes of like, I've been in a routine and then it's getting a little bit thrown off or different and it just, I don't know, it sends me out of whack. So I am starting this vlog with getting myself out of a funk and maybe it will help you or something in it will give you inspo if you are feeling a little low. So to kick things off, it is Tuesday afternoon right now. It has been storming all day. My F45 gym actually closed for the afternoon, which is frustrating, but I understand. I think we might have tornado watch or something. So I'm going to do a 10 minute really hard ab workout. The channel I love is Pamela Reef. She is so good at giving tough workouts, good music in the background. She doesn't speak during the workout usually, which I love. And I think I'm gonna just do that. That will probably already change my mood. Then I'm gonna take full body shower, wash my hair and everything, and figure out my plan for the evening. So let's go. it's done it was not pretty at all i haven't done one of those in probably honestly over a year oh my god i used to be obsessed with doing a run and then coming home and doing one of those and i need to get back to that that was really good um it was a disaster i couldn't even keep up with her but you know i do feel better step one complete of getting out of the funk so now i think i will eat something and i would love to take a little walk but like the sky really does look like it could just keep storming on and off and I don't want to be too far from home. So eat something and then probably take a long shower and just listen to a good podcast. morning guys it is Wednesday morning now <sighs> I got to sleep for 10 hours which was incredible um, basically my first client of the morning which is already later than it normally is canceled late canceled so which is great for me I still get paid but get to sleep in so I um, took advantage and I feel like a million dollars I feel incredible so I just opened a Celsius. I am headed out now for my 930 client. We are running and it's come down way in temperature too from the last few days. So now it's like 40, high 40s, it's gonna be perfect. Um, and then after that, I'm coming back home to do a little work and then I'm going to F45. That's the first half of the day and then I'll keep you guys posted. But just, I really recommend sleep, so much sleep. Okay guys, just got done. We did just over five miles. She has not run over five miles in like four months, something like that. So that was, that was great. Um, I think she did really well. Her heart rate is just kind of, we can't get it to come down. It's just kind of sitting in the one seventies and she's like a small, generally fit person. So we can, we can do some improvement there for sure on the cardio. So that's our goal, but it was good. It was very windy and sunny. Um, so it was a good temperature. It was just, the wind was a bit annoying. And now I am headed to grab a couple groceries tonight. I'm gonna cook dinner with my friend at my place and we're just doing like a healthy like salmon bowl or something like that. So I'm gonna go get ingredients for that. And then I'll have time quickly to change for F45. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, home now, I just put the groceries away and changed out of my run clothes and into F45 clothes. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. And I, at the grocery store, just, I don't know why, but cereal sounded so good. So I'm gonna have a bowl, whoa, <laughs> of this Special K, and then I just got regular whole milk. And I'm gonna eat this and hopefully not throw it up at F45. All right, just got done. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys what will put you out of a funk. The owner of the F45 that I belong to um, emailed us like probably a week ago and was like, I don't know if you guys have been wondering where I am. He's usually always around, he'll take class with us. Like he's great, he owns like four F45s in the area. He emailed us saying in December he was diagnosed with stage three cancer and he's literally been battling it since, like many rounds of chemo all of that and today I was like in the middle of class and like I look over and he's there taking class obviously looks so different and immediately like I am just like it is just so crazy and like you would think since I went through the cancer battle with my mom and it didn't even end well like that I would be so like life should mean so much more than the little things but it's so easy to lose perspective and Immediately I was brought right back to just like, this guy is going through all this shit. He's young and he's in this class trying to get back to movement. His doctor just like cleared him to be able to move again. And like, I just, it's so inspiring. <clears throat> and it's just like one of those things. It's just like, God, we worry about the stupidest shit in the world sometimes. And I don't know, that was like, that was a lot. Um, yeah. I just, I don't know, whatever that means to you guys, but I just thought I would share, like, people are out here fighting real battles, and sometimes I think our lives can close in on us, whatever, so, funny enough, I'm now going to therapy as my next thing today, and, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, but workout was amazing, so, so hard, it was heavy, heavy endurance, and just, like, you basically had no breaks the whole time. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm absolutely drenched. It was, I think my heart rate was like on the high, high end for me, like the whole time it never came down. So run done, workout done. I feel good. I'm definitely already sore. So um, yeah, and it's raining again, but I'm lucky to be alive. All right, it's much later now. My friend came over, we made a really good dinner. I wanted to film it totally spaced, um, but we made these homemade meatballs that are so good. Um, I get the recipe off this YouTube video that my friend showed me, and then we made it with bonza pasta, which is the chickpea pasta and asparagus, and it was so good. And then she left, and now I'm making some tea, and I'm gonna have chocolate with that. And I wanted to show you guys just a couple updates to the house. So let me sh first show you my sitting room. Okay, so this is the first room when you walk into the house. My really good friend, my sister's best friend in the world, he was in town with her last week, and he totally transformed the space. We found that blue couch, it's so cool, um, at a consignment shop. And it has, I think you call them caster bottoms. I can't remember, he was telling me. But such a cool couch. We went to Home Goods and got the pillows. These are from my parents' house, like growing up. We got these lamps from Home Goods. I had these side tables already from Target. This horse tray, we got at a little boutique um, in Nashville, super cute. And then a lot of this stuff I already had, the chairs I already had. We got this fish pillow. Just super cute. Um, I need a whole entryway situation here, but yeah, I thought it was so nice how he put that together for me. And then here's a picture of my mom. This was a trip we took. We had never been to Europe before. We went together like, God, six years ago or more. This was our very first morning of the trip and we were cheersing espresso in Rome and it was so nice. So gonna do my tea. I think this just went off. Look how many tea bags are in here. Well, you can't even see. I have two sleepy times in there plus a peppermint. This is what I did last night. It was so good and knocked me right out. So I'm gonna watch some TV now with this probably for a good hour or so. I have a 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Morning guys, happy Thursday. It is 5.45 and I was headed out the door to my 6 a.m. when she canceled, um, literally as I was leaving 
Uh, she has like a bad sinus headache, so we're not training. This has just been the week of everybody canceling. I haven't had this many cancellations in a very, very long time. Something about this week, I have no idea. It always like gets me down. I don't know why. Even even if it's like a late cancel, and it's like I still make the money. It's just, I don't know. I get really bummed out. I don't know why. I like a full schedule. So when things have holes, like a lot of weeks, I'd like kill for an extra hole because I'm so back to back to back. But I don't know. So what I decided is I am just going to go to a 6.30 F45 class. I'm already up. I'm literally dressed. I was walking out the door. So I'm going to make coffee and just have a slowish morning before going since I don't have to leave for like 30 minutes. So that's my plan. Um, and we're just going to roll with today, but my workout will be done though. So that's good. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday now. I don't even remember if I spoke to you yesterday, but it is Friday. It's like 9.30 now. I did F45 this morning. Well, I had a doctor's appointment, then went to F45. It was really good and just got a coffee from Barista Parlor. I did their iced latte with a little bit of vanilla. It's super good. Um, and now I'm headed back home to do a little bit of work my week has turned around largely. I feel in a much better headspace than I was at the beginning of the week. Um, I might title this vlog, how to get out of a funk or something. I don't know, but I'm feeling a lot better, a lot more optimistic. So just a reminder, the ebbs and flows of life are normal. And I am going to go home and do some work. And then my handyman's coming to mount a few floating nightstands for me. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going on a run later with my friend. I think we're going to do like a six mile hilly loop. Um, yeah, around the afternoon sometime. So yeah, happy Friday. Okay, Friday afternoon. I am getting dressed now to go run with my friend. So it is cooler outside than you would expect because it was like 80s last week. So I am gonna wear leggings. I'm gonna use my, or wear my all yours from Lulu, yeah. I wear these all the time, I've shown them in many videos, but they have pockets on the side. This is the crop, so they are, they're not like a full length legging and the waistband stays up nicely. So I'll wear these. I think I grabbed, not yet, an energy Lululemon bra. Maybe I'll go with the long line one, which is like a longer band here. This, I will do, honestly, I think I'll do just like a tank 
and like something sweat wicking and then a hoodie over it and then call it a day and then I'll pick a pair of pockets to run in. So I'm gonna get dressed now and then head over. Guys, run is done. We actually ran very hard compared to what I thought we might do, um, but she's just such a good runner. This was the girl who paced me in my 100 that I trained with all last summer. She's great. So did the run. Um, we did it in about an hour. Wow, we did. We actually were very fast because for how hilly it was, the fact that I ran the six miles plus in an hour with major hills, like, wow. Okay, I'm doing a 50 point turn to get out of this parking lot and I'm headed home to relax and then I think I'm gonna make steaks tonight for dinner. That feels perfect for a Friday. <laughs> 